In this video, I'm going to show you how to fold a modular hex wheel designed by Ira Fine. It requires 18 squares folded into three different types of modules. And for demonstration purposes, I therefore use three different colors. But of course, you can use all the same color if you want to. Just be sure that the front and the reverse of the paper have different colors if you want this color change effect. Now, my squares have a side length of 7.5 centimeters or 3 inches, and the hex wheel then has a diameter of about 8.5 centimeters or 3 and 3 eighths of an inch, and a depth of about 4.25 centimeters or 1 and 5 eighths of an inch. So let's get started. We're first going to fold all 18 sheets into the same base module and then finish them off differently. So for this we're going to start with the white side up, if you want a model that looks like this in the end, and then fold edge to edge. Then rotate and bring the raw edge to the folded edge. Unfold just so that the layers do not add up. Flip over and repeat. Then unfold and bring the raw edge to the crease you just created. Now just for the first module I like to mark some quarter pinches to get nice accuracy and then use that as a template for the rest of them. So let's unfold this and then flip it over so that you have the smaller sections right here and then pinch on that quarter crease line. Then if you look at it this way, going from the right, we're also going to pinch one quarter on that quarter crease line by aligning the edge with the pinch mark and then adding that small pinch mark. On the other side, so folding in the left edge, we're going to add a pinch to the halfway crease line, like that. Then we can refold the model, folding this in half, folding this behind, and then on this side we're first going to fold in that small section and then fold it over. So now what we have is we have a small pinch mark right here, and we have one right there, and we're going to connect that with a crease. Just be sure to match up those pinch marks as precisely as you can. And this is the base module, and we want to repeat that on all of the remaining sheets. So 17 more times. Now this time you do not have to add the pinch marks, we're just going to go to this stage right here and then use this as a template. So we're going to flip this over like this so that you now have the same shade here and as you can see these match up too so that the color change area is in the bottom. Then line them up exactly on this edge, put them down on the table and then fold down to match up these two edges and then add a crease. You can of course add the pinch marks on each module but I find this is easier and faster so because of those many modules I prefer that method. And then you can just continue with the next one. Now, once all of your 18 modules are in this stage, just double check that all of them have the correct orientation. So, for me, I chose to use the light colors as the white side, so light green, light purple and light blue, and the stronger colors as the color side. And as you can see, they're all the same and that's exactly how it should be. 
Now we're going to use different modules depending on where they're situated. These modules, which kind of form the depth of the hex wheel, we're going to fold first. And for this, we're going to use the purple units. And it's really quite easy. What you do is you turn this over and then you're going to take this edge and bring it to meet that edge over there. Add a strong crease, flip over, and again take that edge and bring it over to the other folded edge and add a crease. And repeat on the other five modules. Once you have all of these done, we can move on to the next ones. And here we're going to use the same fold for one part only. So for this one we're going to use the color side, or here the dark blue, to add a crease that forms a 90 degree angle here. And on the other side we actually want to create a 120 degree angle. And for this I like to use a template. So just use a scratch piece of paper and fold it in half. It does not need to be a square. And then bring the edge to the crease you just created. And same on the other side. Then unfold. And now add a crease starting in this point to bring that corner over through the crease line. Try to make this quite precise because this is our template. And repeat on the other side, bringing this to a nice tip. Now we have our 120 degree angle and we can use this module right here, flip it over and then insert that template in here so that this point right here matches up with that corner. Unfold this so that it's not in the way. Line it up nicely and then fold in that corner and make a strong crease and repeat on the other five modules. Again, choose the color side or here the dark blue side to form 90 degrees and then flip over and then you can see here we're forming 120 degree angles on the white side or the light blue in my case. Now once we have those done, we're going to take the final set and this time we're not going to add the right angle crease on the color side, but on the white side or here the light green rather than the yellow. And this means that these modules are going to be basically a mirror image of those. And then flip over and again add a 120 degree angle. But this time you can see it's on a colored corner. And you will see that you have this small tip and you've creased that over too. And then you continue with the other five ones in that color. Always ensuring you add the first crease, the right angle, on the white side, or in my case, the light green. Once those are done, we can put our template away and now start assembly. So we will have three modules of different colors joining in each of these points right here. And right here you can see that the modules with the 120 degree angles form this hexagon and then you always have two of the same color opposite of each other and they alternate. So here it's always one of the 120 degree angles and then here it's the other color and all around you will see these modules that have only 90 degree angles going around. So how do we put them together? Well, 
First, let's take one of these purple modules. And first, what is really important is that the pockets that we're going to be inserting into are going to be either here or here. So we're always going inside this large portion and never inside the small portion. And if you keep that in mind, it makes things a lot easier. Now you will also notice that here we have the three dominant colors and then the three light colors matching. So you will always have a completely white corner or a completely colored corner if you use paper that is all the same on the 18 sheets. So let's take a look here. We can join these together to get white corners throughout. So here you can see that would not match up. So let's flip it over and now you can see we're matching up white with white. But this is not quite the right angle. So now we can try it like this and then you can see, oh, we don't have the white corners anymore. And we can flip it over like this and now we have white and white. And then here we also want a white one. So we could try and bring that together like this. And then maybe bring this on top so that you can nicely see that we have three light colors matching up. And you will see that these edges should meet up nicely like that. And once you have these sorted so that you know you have a completely white corner, you can start inserting. So here you can only insert into that module right there. And here you will have to insert into this one right there. So let's do that. And then the final one. And you insert that too. And then you push them together so that all of the mountain folds match up. reinforce them and you should get this nice corner and here you will see you have a right angle which is exactly what we want and here we have two modules with 120 degree angles now we're going to alternate the modules with a 120 degree angle here I have different colors but if you're using the same color throughout just check for either a white or a colored corner at the 120 degree angle. So you'd use a module with a colored 120 degree angle for this next corner. Be careful though, this is the 90 degree angle which has to be inserted into one of the purple 90 degree modules. So let's rotate the module so we have the colored 120 degree angle on top to continue forming that hexagon. So if we do it like this and then we add the third one right here and you can see that in this model you always have two of the dark kind of looking at each other or two light ones looking at each other. So here we have dark so we know we need to place the module like this right there. And when you have that matched up you can then again start inserting. So I'm going to insert that purple one with the two 90 degree angles into this one right here, meeting the 120 degree angle. And then we have this module right here going into the purple one right there. And then we have this one going into the last module to complete that corner and then push them together to get them to fit together nicely again and then move on to the next one. So now we again need one of these blue modules and again we want to have the 120 degree angle right here and the 90 degree angle from the last one is situated here just as we want it so that we can then place the next module. 
and then continue with the next module, again looking at the angles to get them placed correctly. And you can see here I made a mistake. Can you see this? This is a 90 degree angle. I didn't pay enough attention, so I'm going to remove it, check for the 120 degree angle, and then insert the module the right way. And then the last one. As you can see, these fit together nicely. I'm going to insert them now and then the purple ones, like this. And like that. And now you can see that nice hexagonal shape and all of the purple modules are already inserted. Now flip it over and start inserting these ones. And again, pay attention that you have the 90 degree angles and the 120 degree angles. And the 120 degree angles need to be placed to form the hexagon. And here for reference, you can check that these match up. As you can see here, if you have different colors, blue and blue, and you have here white and white meeting up, or light blue and light blue in my color scheme. And then you can use the other kind of module. And again, check that you have the 120 degree angle to insert it into that hexagonal shaping module. And continue all the way around. Once you've inserted all your modules, just go around the corners and pinch to make them nice and sharp. And then your hex wheel designed by Ira Fine is all done. Now, if you liked this model, do check out Ira's Flickr stream. There's much to explore and admire. And if you enjoyed this video, do let me know by giving it a thumbs up, commenting below and sharing it with others. Plus, how about you try following one of my other tutorials on modular origami? Or check out my website happyfolding.com for more origami content. Finally, subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss my next videos. I hope to see you around and as always, happy folding!